teeth are beautiful. <laughs> to stand off. You probably miss them. You were sort of friends. Hey. <laughs> and our baby is back. The November rains can be done. Good morning. It is so cold. I guess it's zero. It's zero right now and it's 10 a.m. So it's pretty cold for November. We have been up and at it already. Chores are done and market lambs are loaded. I think we have 35 uh, to go this week and then uh, there should be just enough left to make a load for next week and then the uh, market lambs will be shipped. These were our June lambs. It's all good because we need to make room for the September lambs here that need to be weaned as soon as possible because they're getting quite big. There's been quite a bit of action in the barn this morning. Peta and Teddy welcomed us with their soprano this morning. Anybody that has had livestock know that, especially with sheep, that uh, feeding with a pail for too long just develops a sort of beast that thinks they're always hungry and they're really, really loud for like probably a week or two. Yeah, Chris has said they have no idea what they're doing <laughs> when it comes to like the feed manger. So that's gonna take a few days for them to adjust. So I'm glad I brought them over yesterday. As far as the Tinder groups go, there is so much action that there's no way I could have even turned on the camera in there this morning, but maybe after I get back, we'll see if things have sort of chilled out a bit and then I can take you guys along for a little adventure. Anyway, I'm gonna throw on some Audible. I am listening to our book club pick for the month, which is All the Light We Cannot See. So far, it's a really good book. I remember hearing about this book and now I'm like, right. When I tell you the weather is absolute garbagio, the weather is absolute garbagio. But the barn is very warm. <laughs> A lot of steamy scenes going on right now. We have the three groups that are um, making some spring babies for us here. The teeth are beautiful. is losing a lot of his wool so he's been scrapping but he has everybody's been treated for lice <laughs> Billy hasn't lost a stitch of wool so why is that the king of this barn I would say this particular session is William he has been performing non-stop. Like, he's one of my older boys, for sure. I just saw Lucky getting busy here, and Lucky's getting sort of long in the tooth as well. So, I mean, some of my old boys still got it. William. Oh, he's such a good boy. You still got it, eh, buddy? This is all smeared off and rubbed. Is that you? Are you a baby daddy? Well done. Good job. So she's in a standing heat today, which is great. Yesterday she was not at all. Wiggle in her tail. Everything is sort of... You're a willow. <laughs> 
No big deal. It's no big deal. Thought I'd better check on our new yeah. residents. Hello, how was your day and your night? <sighs> Hello, you have a lot to say still. Hi, Teddy. How's it going? Everything good? Up to your standards? Hello, baby. Hi. Piper, not everything's about you. Piper's like, who is that? She's new. <laughs> and she ain't scared of you. <laughs> it's a standoff. She does not know what to think about Peter. She was just loving it. My best friend. Taking off the burrs. <laughs> Good afternoon. We are playing hooky for the rest of the day. I did do chores this morning, but it is so wet. We have water everywhere. Water in the fields. We had a weird thunderstorm at like eight o'clock last night yeah it was wild and it went on for a while didn't it like three hours so uh yeah we got over an inch of rain and it's just it's moist it's moist so we are going to um unfortunately for those that are a little grinchy we are not grinchy um <laughs> we are gonna start decorating our bookshelf in the next little we're while. just buying things we're, we're not buying decorating things. we're yet. preparing for some christmas because things sell out so fast now. yeah we just want to get there and get some stuff usually i can't get any christmas shopping or any decor shopping even started till in the middle of lambing also we are gonna wait until after remembrance day to put anything up yeah sunday we are going to start do you like my funky sunglasses when did you get those? <laughs> they were in my actually, Halloween. Actually, they were part of my Halloween costume. I actually do like them. <laughs> Thanks. Wow. Do you have a TikTok? Mm -hmm. I think we should get this. Yes. We lucked out, sort of, but already either the stores are not really fully stocked yet or we're already too late and it's only November 9th, so. Make that make sense. Make that make sense. Make the math math, because it's not mathing for me. <laughs> anyway, we went to HomeSense first, bought some little Christmas tree, are they candles? I think so. Or just little tea, oh they are candles. Yeah, so cute. we got these for our bookshelf somewhere. Oh, they're tea light candles. Are they? Yeah, that's like the tea light. Oh, that's even perfect. Isn't that cute? We got these little guys. We're not really sure what or how we're gonna- We're gonna figure it out. Decorate with them, but we got them. We always have to get a mug, and I'm, I'm a Grinch fanatic. Like I love the Grinch. The Grinch is the superior movie. The Grinch, so we got that mug. That's so cute. Oh, this is that uh, toasty thing. Oh, yeah. This little guy we thought was really nice. It's like letters to Santa. Yeah. This is North Pole. So we like that. I we like, like her. And then we got this little Christmassy vibe. Yeah, little I like thing. that. We wanted to pop a red for our shelf. I feel like we did a good job. We like, did. We, have quite we a got good a lot of red and pop. some greens. And then I also found this little light. That one's really cute. Yeah. So I like that a lot. Jess sort of had the house theme, so we were, I like the trees, you like the houses, so we sort of did a mix match. And then I got some Christmas sheets for the first time ever in my life. 
for our bedroom. They're just like a red stripe, so it can sort of go all winter. Oh, yeah. Which definitely. I sort of like. There was, there's very limited. We have a, I, got, I bought a king size bed a few years ago, and it's very hard to find king reasonably priced king size bedding. I think this was $59.99. I bet you they were like. Actually, I bet you they were like, if you can afford a king, you can afford. I know, but I'm a cheap state. When I know, I am too. Cheese. And then I bought this for our guest room because I like my guest one. room is sort of sheepy vibes. And they're little sheeps. They're little Suffolk sheep with hats. Santa hats. They're really cute. So it's cute. like my most favorite thing, I think. That you bought today? Yeah. All right, and then. Of course, um, we went to Indigo. I got a puzzle for the first time. So Jess and I are going to maybe. Do this over Christmas, hopefully, mm -hmm. if lambing is good to me and kind to me. Um, and it's it a reading so nook, and it's like my perfect vibe for it. That's exactly what I would want. Actually, this is a better picture here. If I had like a den, that's what I would want. Like a little library. A little library. She's pretty. I got this new book out. We've read, we read one of it. her books, right? Yeah. So I wanted to read that. And then I also got the fourth wing holiday edition because she's pretty. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. So I haven't read it yet. Me neither. It's still on my list. <laughs> but it's pretty, so we so bought that it. Is, uh, that's today's haul, sort of a nice- You actually got way more than I thought. Yeah. I didn't break the bank though, which is good. How cute that we is. We did good. We had a fun day. Fun day off the farm. Very fun. Back to work tomorrow. For you, not for me. <laughs> You have to do homework, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah, you do. morning it is friday we've had such a good like last five minutes our plastic is gone <laughs> and we are so happy about that uh especially before winter eh getting that cleaned up yeah. and our baby is back look at her problem is it did not come back with the bucket that it left with so i'm trying to locate where that would be and maybe i'll have to grab the truck and trailer and run up there and grab it sort of need the bucket to uh hit this a little more accurately. Other than that, the tindering has sort of slowed down this morning, which is a good sign. A lot of smearing, which is also a good sign. Just getting some chores done this lovely Friday morning. It's finally not raining. We've had some really nice truck drivers here yesterday and uh, today we are emptying out our seed soybeans already. Uh, so they're contracted with Pioneer and they're already like taking them and cleaning them and doing all the things to sell for next year, which is early. Usually they're not this early, so I don't know what's going on there, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we've been sort of 
out of the fields anyway, so the timing's worked out really well. I think they're gonna take 10 loads between today and yesterday, but anyway, I've met some really nice drivers and they love the dogs. They're all over these dogs. But I did have a little bit of an audience when I was trying to take off my bucket. There's one other thing I was thinking about doing today, and that might be bringing over those ewe lambs from across the road. So that might be this afternoon's job. I like to do it just when the when the weather's sort of decent. Uh, I can definitely make the one pen a little bit smaller and make room for new ewe lambs in the front here. So that might be this afternoon. Just get it done. I have a funny feeling next week's going to start picking up for field work. We're supposed to get into some nicer weather, so um, Mark won't want me messing around doing a bunch of sheep jobs when I'm going to need to be running wagons for him. There was one other thing I wanted to talk to you guys here before lunch about. There has been so many people that have commented about this hat. Like, I don't think I've ever had so many people compliment me on any anything that I wear, but this hat, uh, you guys seem to really like it. So, uh, ironically, the maker of this hat actually emailed me uh, yesterday. I saw the email. It went to my junk mail, so I apologize. I did not see it. Anyway, this was a gift from a viewer, so thank you. I don't remember who gave it to me. I have the letter and the card in the house, but um, I would have to go find it. I think it's Riza or Riza emailed me. We wanted to say a big thank you for wearing our hat on your most recent video. It looks fabulous on you. Someone had recently purchased one from our Etsy page and had mentioned your video to us. All of us at the office are very excited to see it. P please feel free to mention our small family company to anyone who needs it, and we would also like to offer the code PACHA10, I'll write that on the thing on the screen, for a discount to you and your followers, which is really nice. This isn't sponsored as far as I know. It's just she reached out to me and said, here, have a discount for all you guys. So what? it's perfect timing because if you are early at doing some Christmas shopping, uh, I did go on their website and I will attach their website in the description, but uh, they make some really beautiful stuff. Like it blew me away. So I went right to their website, but they're also on Etsy known as Pachamama Woolies. So if you're an Etsy person, check them out or just I'll just attach their website and I think you can shop right on it, but I'm not sure. Thank you, Risa, for the discount. I'm sure all my viewers will be very happy to have that. And thank you for making such a beautiful hat. So the outside is 100% wool. I think, let me read it here. Oh my God, my eyes are blurry. 100% wool outside and then 100% polyester lining which I think is this here. It's like a fleece and it's so nice, like right here around my head. And I think it said it was made in Nepal. Is that true? Handmade in Nepal. So there you go. And that's their little logo there. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you. The viewer that sent it to me sent it because the hat reminded her of Ruby and she had saw that Ruby had passed. So this is my Ruby toque and I'm in love and she's gonna be on my head for the winter. I'm gonna say that the November rains can be done because we are really, really wet, like flooded. Hello, tomatoes. How are ya? How's my ladies without the little rugrats in here? Hey, you probably missed them. You were sort of friends, weren't you? Hmm. Oh, tomatoes. How you doing, Ruby Sue? You look happy. Big mama. <laughs> Beautiful sunshine. And we decide to stay inside, eh? Yes, you do. So I just had a little discussion with Mark and he was maybe suggesting that if I wanted to wean or start moving my lambs that it's probably best to do it sooner than later just because uh, next week's looking like our first real break in the weather and uh, he just doesn't want to leave me sort of scrambling trying to do all my sheep stuff and then be available for uh, all the wagon hauling. So. I think I am going to move these ewe lambs over to the barn today. I might just take a couple minutes here before lunch and set this all up and then hook up the trailer 
right after lunch and uh, bring them over to the big barn, the big house. These are a nice group of ewe lambs, ladies. Hello, it's your gorge. The only thing better than knocking everything off your to-do list is knocking everything off your to-do list on a Friday. Uh, and it's only like three o'clock. There's one more job tomorrow I think I might try to tackle when I have Carissa and that's moving the bottle babies over to the other bar now that we got that side cleaned out. So I think for the rest of the day, Mark has stoked the fire back at the cabin. So I'm gonna run back there and start working on some Christmas wool launch stuff. Um, I've got two little kits here I'm going to start working on. I'm almost tempted I might, oh, what do I want to do? I might put a little pipe thing here. Oh, like a little leg? Yeah, I just, I don't. It's just really heavy. Are those brackets just not heavy enough? Well, I think they curl, enough? the chip lock curl the bucket like this, it cupped. Okay. So when I put the brackets on, they go on like this. Mm. Not straight. I mean, it looks good from here. The only other thing you do is like take those brackets off and put a washer in behind them. Oh. So they yeah. tip. It looks good still. Mm hmm. Like our kitchen. Good morning. It is Saturday. It is sunny, which is so nice. I just finished having coffee with Mark and he said, you better start getting some jobs off the list because we may actually try to sneak out today and get some corn off. He's saying we need like nine days to finish corn and we don't have nine days in a row anywhere in our two week forecast. So I think we're going to try to maybe take off a few acres today, tomorrow, 
and then I uh, have to break the news to Carissa that we may have to wean bright and early on Monday morning. I don't like making her wean on a weekend because it's just such a hard, strenuous job that I want her to sort of rest on weekends as much as possible. So we may do that Monday morning and then right after that I may have to start cleaning out the barn. I need to get two pens cleaned out before the end of this week because Mark wants to get Adrian back to get all our manure spread before this next bout of rain which is supposed to come in on Friday. I have the trailer still hooked up from yesterday which was strategic. We are gonna grab these bottle babies and bring them over to this barn. We've done this the last few times. We bring over the bottle babies first, get them used to the water and the feed and all the things and then when we bring over the weaned lambs they sort of train the new ones so and I'm sure we're gonna have a couple little runts left over from the last group. We'll put those in that pen as well once those get weighed up this week. So we've been doing that the last few times and it's worked really well. So we're gonna do it again. What way are you swinging the gate? I think we can lift it right off the hinge. Oh. I think we can get oh, that yeah. out last time. Yeah, you're right. Which yeah, is nice right. and then we don't have to... Oh, oh. I don't know if you see oh. right there. I'm going to go ahead and do it. But, like, if you didn't get home, it's not too bad. I know. You're a big boy! I'm not a rosé lover. No, me neither. Like, she just, said, she just be neither. white or be red. Don't yeah, be a... She is neither, though, so I'm not too sure why she oh, even got rosé. Well, I think she just explored. Yeah. She just tried it, maybe. That's it. <laughs> Well, Mark has been busy all morning getting our generator sort of situated. He needed to change some filters and change the oil, maybe. There's just always a bunch of stuff that needs to happen before you can actually get out to the field. And uh, yeah, we lost our son yet again. Sort of a trend. on day six, I think, of corn harvest. Jess is on the buggy today. Uh, we're gonna ask Moni to maybe spell her off tomorrow because I know she's got a group assignment she has to get done. So yeah, it's me hauling wagons, Mark on the combine, and Jess on the buggy. I asked you guys in my last video if you wanted Mark to talk about uh, the combine and corn and stuff, and a few of you had some good ideas. One person said maybe at the end of harvest, get them to recap, like, are you happy with the yields, that sort of thing, which I thought was a really good idea, and also he'll be a lot less stressed. Maybe we'll just, we'll wait till the end of harvest, and I'll get him to do a harvest wrap-up for you guys. All right, well, the sun's trying to come back out. Have you been waiting for me this whole time? We are on our last, second last load for the night. It's actually 
surprisingly only quarter to seven so I think we took off 30 acres mark figures that's enough to keep the dryer going all night have the wet bin empty tomorrow so we can have a really good full day of doing corn well not a full day but a good chunk of a day to do corn tomorrow I think our good buddy Lauren might be bringing us some supper so that's amazing she should be here really shortly she had a little bit of an accident today involving a knife and her fingertip so uh, I think she's just coming back from the hospital and literally picked up supper for us so she's a goddess uh, and it was her birthday yesterday so Lauren doesn't watch these but if you do happy birthday all right I better keep going here you're making me sleepy mm -hmm. 